Okay, so I got a uh, DOC and a uh, DPF out of a uh, Mack truck here, the MP7. Sophia put out a video a couple days ago, short video, uh, with some huge amount of depth build up. These were the components that came out of that truck. When we took this DOC out, it was probably 70% plus completely face plugged, so really, really bad face plugging. We kind of consulted with the customers, they're probably better off to replace it, because typically when they're like that, they don't come clean. You will not get that stuff out of there, it seems like normally. So I recommended buying a new one. He wanted to try cleaning it. So we're gonna pull it out and, and actually see if anything did come out. Okay, so uh, we got this DOC over here on the inspection table. I did take a little bit of shop air and just kind of blow it out a little bit. It does make a little bit of dust, so I need to get an exhaust fan in here for that type of stuff. But um, if you are gonna do it, I'd prefer, if you got a closed space like this, do it outside, you'd probably be better off. Okay, so one thing I wanna mention, I see a lot of stuff out there where guys say, oh, you just clean, well, obviously this is a DOC, so this, this side should be pretty clean anyways, but on a, on a, a DPF, you know, where it butts up to this, that side's gonna be black and sooty. So one of the things I see out there is guys like, oh, they just cleaned it white again and, and that's good. And that's, that's not how you clean a DPF or a DOC. Uh, I actually have to get everything out of these little channel or holes, whatever you want to call them, or vessels. So that's where everything builds up at. That's what actually needs to be clean. And, and really without a lot of heat um, to break that down is the only way to get it out and with, then with airflow after that. So anyways, um, like I said, we had put out this video with a, with a heavy amount of def build up going into, an FC, into the SCR of this unit. And one of the reasons what I believe it caused that is when, when you face plug this to where exhaust flow can't go through, it's not going to blow that def through the way it's supposed to. So it's just going to fall down or lay down in that vessel um, in between the, uh, the DPF outlet and the SCR. It's just going to lay there and build up and build up and build up just like it crystallizes on the outside of your def tank if you spill some in the most part. So uh, anyways, I use one of my wire rods here to go ahead and uh, check the restriction on this after cleaning. Uh, we've had some people asking us about these as well. These actually came with our inspection table through filter therm. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check in to see if we can buy purchase more of these um, so that way we'd have them available. I need, I need extras as well in case I bend one. We're going to see if we have some available for the general public as well. Okay, so what we're going to do is take our uh, wire rod here and, and basically stick it in. So on a DOC, this should go all the way through and, and hit metal. So right here, we're still plugged. Still plugged there. Still plugged there. That one was a little restricted, but it does go all the way through. Plug there. So it seems like we've got an area right around in here that's still plugged. So I mean, me personally, um, I mean, I only recommend not using this just because if you don't get that out, you're not gonna get the proper airflow for everything to work right, and you're gonna continue to have problems. So if you are having problems, even though you may be an SCR problem, you need to look upstream as well, your DPF and your DOC, because if you're not getting a proper airflow downstream, it's, everything's not going to work properly. So uh, like I said, just want to put that out today. I hope that helps you guys out. Uh, check that stuff out if you're having these issues. And like I said, we'll see what we can find on the, uh, the wire rods um, if people are interested in those. Uh, that's pretty much all I got for today. So thanks for watching. Uh, hit the bell for the updates. Like the video and subscribe to the channel.